All right, welcome to my basement and my boiler. Uh, this is going to be a video where I try to demonstrate the idea that the equalizer doesn't do anything to equalize any pressure anywhere. And uh, I'm going to put an asterisk on there and I'll say, not counting freak occurrences where your wet return suddenly gets a quarter sized hole in it and uh, all the water leaks out or whatever. Your boiler's going to dry fire if that happens. So it's just bear. We never heard about this before today. Set this aside. We've been told that the equalizer um, balances the pressure between the header and the wet return or the entry point, you know, into the wet return where the Hartford loop is. Right there is the equalizer running down right here. So it, it's supposed to equalize that, it's supposed to be some pressure difference or something that it equalizes, which then causes uh, or prevents rather, prevents the, the water level at the far end of the main, okay, at the, at the drip that goes down to the wet return from the end of the main, it's supposed to prevent that water level from rising too much, right? And shooting out of your main vent, which, you know, if you're, it, you know, if, if that was a concern, you know, if that was a thing that could happen, it would be a concern because, you know, three PSI is like nearly 60 inches of, uh, or no, n nearly 90 inches of, you know, uh, water column. And yeah, that, that, if there was a differential like that, that would cause the water to rise uh, up to your uh, end of your main and, you know, shoot out of your main vent or, or even go further, go up to your uh, first floor radiators, let's say. And uh, so that's what the equalizer supposedly does. Now, I've made the claim that when I look at this, I can't figure out what it would equalize, right? And I've, I've drawn this picture, everyone's seen it, but say you've got some pressure here. On my pictures, I said five PSI, but for the sake of whatever, let's say it's three PSI. You got three PSI here. We know we have a three PSI in the, in the steam chamber of the boiler. As you go lower in the boiler, it's gonna slightly increase because of the, the, the additional weight of the water that's, that's, uh, that's there will increase the pressure a little bit. Granted, right? But uh, in the header, it should be 3 PSI. Um, the equalizer, of course, is here, so it's, it's pushing 3 PSI down here as well. And that's where we've been told that somehow it keeps, somehow the pressure knows only to push this way toward the boiler. Somehow the pressure doesn't know to push this way down the Hartford loop into the wet return thereby, you know, raising the water level in the, in the wet return. That's the part that always confused me. So I'm going to do a demonstration. What you can see here is I added a valve to my equalizer. So equalizer comes down. Now there's a valve there. I'm going to be able to turn that off and it'll be just like I have no equalizer at all. Right? Agreed? And at that point, we'll know whatever pressure is in the boiler is, is is getting presented to the wet return from here. And, uh, you know, of course, also getting sent up to the main. Now it's my proposal, it's my, it's my thinking that the equalizer is not what prevents the water from rising over there at the far end of the main. It's actually the main itself. If you think about it, if I'm running three PSI in my boiler, I'm gonna have three PSI going, going across my main Okay, can we agree to set aside velocity drag of the of the pipe or whatever? This is not, you know, uh, 100 PSI steam or something. This is, it's traveling, okay? But I don't think it's getting like skidded to a stop by the walls of the pipe here. And when you get to a, uh, a radiator takeoff, like this one, I got another one over here, right there. Each of those, you'd expect to be a little pressure drop at each one of those because the steam is flowing out, you know, to the radiators where it's condensing. So that we do, we do expect the pressure to, to reduce. And when the, and the main wraps around my basement, you can see it there insulated. The main comes around and by the time it gets here, 
these are the this is these are the last two takeoffs right here. By the time it gets here, it should be a little less than whatever's in the boiler, right? Now I've never measured it, but we know it's less than three psi or whatever is in the boiler, uh, right? We all can agree it's going to be somewhat less. That's what makes the water rise here. And uh, but it's going to be a question of how much. And like I said, in my in my proposal, my thinking is here's your little bit less than three psi. It's pushing down. It's pushing down right here. Approximately here is my boiler water line. And if there's a differ if there's a differential there, we'd expect to see this come up. Now I can tell you in my operation here, it doesn't it never appears in the glass unless I'm goofing around with my boiler in some weird way, which I'll show you later probably. But in normal operation, the level is never visible here in this glass. I've I've often wanted to add another glass below it so I could see the actual water level at all times over here. That's kind of cool, I think. But uh, the idea is when I turn off this, when I separate off the equalizer, according to the theory that the equalizer is preventing the water from getting pushed backwards out of the boiler, if I turn this off, I would think people would expect that that is going to rise here because the equalizer is no longer doing its job, right? Now, according to my drawings, that wouldn't happen, but I can't get anyone to say, yes, your drawings are right, uh, with very few exceptions. <laughs> Everyone says, oh, they won't say my drawings are wrong either. They're just not commenting on my drawings, which is fine, whatever. They're just drawings. But this will be a real experiment. So that's the intro. So my uh, boiler just kicked on. I've got, a, uh, I've got a long call for heat set up. I've turned off a bunch of my radiators to, and I've, and I've also, I've also turned off my main vent I've, I've, for experimentation purposes. I have this valve before my main vent. And so that, that should let some pressure build in my system, which normally there's hardly any pressure. There's like less than one inch of water column in this thing usually. But with all those radiators turned off and my main vent turned off, I should be able to build up some pressure and we should, and I, oh yeah. And I raised my pressure troll up to about three PSI cut off, um, or excuse me, cut in is three. So the cut off, the cut out will be like, what, two? Is that right? It's differential. Yeah. Subtractive. Does it say that? Yeah. Wait, no additive. So it's going to be four and three. Yeah. Four cut out and three cut in. It should be. So we'll see if we get it that high. I don't know if it'll get that high or not, but I have a, a an accurate low pressure gauge here. I wish I had a magna helix here that had a big enough range, but I'm using my only large range magna helix over here so we can see what we get over here. This is a 50 inches of water column meter, zero to 50. Of course, we don't really, we don't really need this meter this gauge over on this side because we'll see the water level come up, right? That's what that's what we're going to find out. So uh, that was the long intro. Sorry about that. It's rambling and stuff, but I hope you get the idea of what I'm going to try to do. The boiler's heating up right now, and uh, I'll be back when we're steaming and, uh, and we'll do some experiments. Okay, so we've been running for a while, and I've got, uh, I did open up my main vent because I got, I kind of had to get steam in the whole main to get everything nice and hot and get, get uh, some of my radiators um, starting to warm up. And I am starting to build pressure. So um, normally I wouldn't see this pressure until, I don't know, in a really long set uh, call for heat on a setback. But um, I've been, the boiler's been firing for about a half hour and uh, you can see the pressure starting to build. And this is good. It's kind of building a little slowly here, which is which is good. I've got about half my radiators turned off. So uh, overall, that's a good sign for the way my system runs, I think. But uh, setting that aside, so we're at, um, what, 0.6, getting close to 0.7 PSI on the, on the boiler side of things. And over here, 
at the far end of the main, we are at, uh, okay, so 15, so a little more than half of a PSI over here. That's great. We can see the condensate running, uh, returning back to the, um, to the wet return from the far end of the main. This is just a regular parallel main one pipe situation. Um, no sign of the water level coming up, right? So, you know, I, again, I suspect it's around here, but I, I can't verify that except to know that it's below here somewhere. So that's fine. I mean, it's, it can't be much below here because that's where the water level of the boiler is right now, about 31 inches off the floor. So everything's running. This is slowly climbing. So let's let's try the first experiment. So here's the here's my new valve on my equalizer. Um, let me turn on my light here for this. I'm gonna try and do this. Sorry, it's gonna be shaky. I'm gonna zoom in on my magna helix over there, and you'll be able to see any water that that goes up in the uh, sight glass over there. So. Here it is, I'm gonna turn this off. So there it's off. Now, did anything change over there? According to what we, you know, what the general feelings are out there in the industry, by closing off the equalizer, right? It should, it, it should like allow more water to be pushed out the back end of the boiler into the wet return and force the water level higher over there at the far end, right? That's what we've been told in, um, in the lost art of steam heating. And um, we should be able to see that. Now, we'll keep doing it as the pressure builds. You can see we're up here almost to one PSI and the magna helix is reflecting that over there as well. And that's with the equalizer turned off not existent. So why, how is that possible? Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again while we wait for the pressure to build and do some more experiments. The equalizer is actually not this thing. The equalizer is actually the main. Cause we're sitting here at one PSI. There's one PSI in the boiler. There's approximately one PSI at the entry of the wet return back to the boiler. There's one PSI in the header. There's one PSI in this part of the main. There's one PSI all the way to that first run out. And actually I've got that radiator turned off. So there's one PSI farther, uh, you know, farther around until we actually get to some radiators that are working. And those are condensing steam. We know we're condensing steam because even though my system is small, it's still producing, you know, it's full, it's full BTU rating of steam and it's sitting about even right now. So right now the radiators are filling up with steam is what's happening. But the pressure, it will drop a little bit at each radiator, you know, that's working. And by the time it gets here, it'll be something, it should be something less than what we see over at the, um, at the boiler. So at this moment, we're, we're about one PSI right now. That would be what, 27 inches of water. And that's right about where we're at over here. So we would, we might expect it to be a little higher than that here. It's not showing a little higher. It's showing just a shy of one. Now this gauge, I don't trust nearly as much as the Magna Helix. So I don't know what to tell you there. I got to, I can run this again. I'm going to get some more of those zero to 50 Magna Helix and put them around in some places. You can get them pretty cheap on eBay. You can find them for like 20 bucks plus shipping sometimes pretty good. Anyway, um, we see that even with the equalizer turned off, the pressure is, is still equal at the far end of the main, right up there. We're at, uh, 27, 28 inches of water. And here, look, we're even a little lower. It's interesting. Not quite one PSI here. And that's with the equalizer turned off. So let's let's get my camera here on the Magna Helix. 
and I'm going to turn the equalizer on and we'll see if we see any change, okay? So there it's on. It's on, it's on, it's on. I didn't see it even move. It didn't even budge. Okay, I turn it off. I don't see a flicker. It's currently off. It's off, it's off. Turn it back on right now. It doesn't seem to move. Now we are getting some, we're getting actually a little bit of a drop in the pressure in, of my system overall right now. Um, which if you've monitored your systems carefully as they're heating up, you'll know, you do know that they do kind of go up and down depending on what's going on. Like with the movement of the steam to different parts of the radiator, I don't know exactly, but you, you see the, the, uh, the pressure kind of, kind of move up and down. But generally speaking, we're sitting, we're sitting pretty steady. I'm looking forward to when, um, some of the radiators start get completely full and when they're when their vents close then we should see we should see it rise uh to the cutout and i did lower this a little bit because i didn't want it cutting out at four so i lowered it to this a little over two so two and a quarter two and a half something like that so it it should cut out somewhere between three and four so that's the first experiment no uh no result, no, no change in anything. I can turn it on and off, on and off. No, it's on right now. No, uh, I turn it off. No water shows up and the magna helix doesn't budge. Now my cycle guard just kicked on. So that's a good time for me to stop this section of the video. And um, I'll be back when the pressure uh, starts to climb Let's say, you know, to two PSI, we'll see if we notice anything different. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, I closed off another radiator to, uh, to make some pressure build a little faster. So here we are at one and a half PSI at the boiler. The equalizer's open. And uh, over there across the room, we're at, it's reading about 40 inches of water column. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, a, that's roughly one and a half. I've got to get my calculator out. 27 times one and a half would be, uh, yeah, that'd be about 40. So that's good. So they're about equivalent, which is good. Um, we're climbing now. We're getting some pressure. Here's some noise over across the room. I'm not sure what that is. Something's starting to see some pressure that it hasn't seen very much. My system, my system's never maybe been this high since I installed it. But anyway, let's um, let's try to uh, close the um, uh, equalizer. See what happens before we top out the uh, magna helix over there. Okay, I close it. I don't see it move. It's right about it. 47 right now. I open it. I don't see anything. There's no sign of water over there. I close it. Nothing happens. I open it. Nothing happens. We're up to we're up to 2 now. It's closed. It's open. We're about at 50 inches of water over there. Now surely with the with this closed, the equalizer closed, um, we don't see any water rising in the sight glass. How could that be, right? The equalizer is supposed to be equalizing, back this out, the equalizer is supposed to be somehow equalizing the pressure here in the near boiler area to keep, to prevent the pressure of the boiler, now sitting at uh, two and a quarter PSI, to keep that pressure from, somehow to keep it from pushing on the, on the return water, right? That's what's supposed to be happening, but 
even without the equalizer, there's no appearance of water over there. That, that water level is not rising. And the magna helix is now pretty much maxed out. But all the way up to that point, it was, it was matching the boiler pressure uh, with some, ver some variance, but not the kind of variance that, obvi obviously not the kind of variance that would make the water rise. So, so what's the explanation? I said it before, and I'll, I'll say it again. Two and a half, right? There's two and a half here. There's two and a half here. There's two and a half here. It's hitting the valve, right? There's two and a half here, roughly. Okay, there's a little bit of height of water here, right? But basically two and a half PSI is here. You get to here, it's gonna be, it's we're about at the water level, like, you know, right here. So that's gonna be about this, that same two and a half PSI. <laughs> my, um, my union's dripping a little bit, so uh, I'll have to fix that. But uh, two and a half PSI, two and a half, right? And that's, that's without the equalizer, right? But if I open the equalizer, nothing changes. There's still two and a half here. There's two and a half here. Two and a half comes down here and pushes here to meet equally with the two and a half that's coming out of the boiler. It's all, it's already equal. The equalizer doesn't do anything to equalize the pressure. Two and a half, two and a half. Now we're up to three. Three, 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 three. Well, okay, well, what, what keeps that water from rising over there then? It's not the equalizer, we know this. It's the main. The main has three. Three, 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 a little less than three, a little bit less than three, a little bit less than three, a little bit less than three. Very little bit less than three, we know because we saw the magna helix was, was matching the other uh, meter. So the, so the pressure drop to the radiators is not that much. We saw it. So the equalizer is here. Here's the equalizer, it's pushing down. If this was one PSI, if this was two PSI and the boiler was at three, we would see this come up 27 inches, right? One PSI difference would be 27 inches of water. We're not seeing, we're not even seeing two or three inches. Now here's the cool part, right? Hope my, cy my cycle guard doesn't kick in right now because you wanna see the water rise? Here's how we make the water rise. Here's a valve. This is equivalent to like a king valve, right? I have two valves. I already have this one off. This is my riser out of my boiler, of course. I can turn this off and I hope not burn myself while I'm messing around with this, but I'm gonna keep the camera over here on the wet return. Watch as I start to close the valve that provides steam to the main, right? Which is what I'm calling the equalizer now. The main is the equalizer. I start to close it, I close it, I close it. Look at there. I've, it's, I've got it cracked right now. I got it right here. And look, you can see weird stuff is happening Weird stuff is happening. I don't know if it's a pressure situation that's causing this. The pressure is is way up now, past this gauge anyway. I expect the pressure troll to kick in pretty soon. But I'm I've got it I've got it in equilibrium where it, I've I've made a differential now. It's raised the height of that water at my at my wet return side over there. Uh, the end of main drip or end of main drop, you'd call it, it's raised it like six or eight inches. So that's not very much. That's like a third of a PSI. If I close it further, I can make it go higher. Look, there it goes. It's going higher now. It's somewhere up beyond, up there, it's right at the top of the glass. It's like equilibrium. It's right there. We saw it, we saw it reappear. There it is. See that? It's right there. If I close this valve, I, I know from experience, this valve, Okay, not the useless equalizer valve that doesn't do anything. If I close this valve, of course, we're gonna see a big difference in pressure. Now, I don't wanna do that because I did it once and it, it immediately shot water up to my main vent, no question.
but here I'll, I'll do it again. I'm slowly closing the valve, causing this pressure differential. The boiler now is higher pressure than the main and it's causing the water level to rise, 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 right? That's the action that I believe everybody thinks the equalizer is preventing. But it, it has nothing to do with it, folks. Nothing. I can close this thing all day long. We don't see anything over there. Not a thing. Right? Tell me, uh, tell me how else I can prove it to you. I think this matches what my drawing showed. Um, thanks for everybody who has uh, given me feedback on that thread. I really appreciate it. All the opinions, I, I like to hear them all. I don't care if they agree with me or not, but uh, I hope that you can see from my experiment here, the equalizer just doesn't do anything to affect the pressure of the system. Not a damn thing. I wish my pressure troll would kick in. I wonder what my pressure is at right now. Well, we think it's not at 15 yet. Oh, there it went. All right, that was my pressure troll. See, we're up, I don't know, we're up at four or five PSI. You can't trust these damn things. But uh, yeah, the pressure troll kicked in because it was not my cycle guard this time. So... That's good. That's the first <laughs> that's the first time I think my pressure troll has turned off my system in I don't know how long. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um I think I think I showed what I wanted to show with that uh equalizer valve. Uh I'll make a new thread with this video on it probably. That old thread has gotten so polluted with all kinds of different stuff in it. <laughs> it's hard to follow along with, but uh let me know in the new thread what you want uh, what you want me to do to, to try and prove it to you that the the equalizer doesn't equalize. Okay? Catch you later.